Good start. Okay. Let's go. Jürgen, given the impressive performance away from home, the 5 0 scoreline, and the size of the game for the weekend, is it tempting for you to consider rotating your squad? Uh, rotating in the in the way you you think. Well, probably I'm not 100% sure. N no, it's about um, we won the game in a quite impressive way. That's true. We we're really strong that night. We were especially very very effective that night. We had six shots on target, five were in. Um, Porter had shots on target, and two um, or, and two of them they missed the goal really only for a few inches in very decisive moments. So that's how a result like this can happen. Um, but we respect Porto too much and respect the competition too much that we would think about real rotation or whatever. Um, so it's only... We had a game on Saturday, that's true. And uh, we had uh, it was an intense game again, and we had a few knocks and little things here and there. We had ill players before that. Hopefully, nothing new happened in this department. And so um, I didn't make a decision so far about lineup because I don't have to. I, have, I need the time, and I have the time. Yesterday, we trained with nine players. Today, it's kind of a second day recovery, and tomorrow. We have in the morning a little session with a few tactical things um, for preparation, having a very important meeting, video meeting with the boys. We prepare ourselves for the game and we want to win the second half of the game, of the stage, actually, and that's all. Because it is important for the team, I suppose, most Salah has played a lot of games. Um, is this perhaps an opportunity? Yeah. I don't. I, don't have, I, I get the, the question in that, but I, I didn't make a decision so far. And it's about uh, bringing fit players. And uh, we are in a moment of, in the in the league um, where we all have to deliver, play constantly, stuff like that. Um, you don't rotate to avoid something. You only use the players. Um, which are in the in the best shape, and if there if there will be a different lineup to Saturday, I, I don't know. But if it will be a different lineup, then only because we want to win the game and no other reason. That's what I meant when I said we will not rest players. We will maybe make one, two, three changes or so, but um, only to win the game. That would be the moment when you please could stop, then I can listen, <laughs> hear the question. You can put the camera down because it's not, yeah, thank you. <laughs> not that it only happens like a reflex. Yeah. So Sorry. Good afternoon. Um, this is a question, important question in Portuguese football nowadays. Do you believe that the difference between the big clubs in Portugal and clubs like Liverpool nowadays, and the difference between the Premier League and the Portuguese League, is, or the gap between the leagues, is so big as the result in the first place? Uh, no, I, I, when I spoke about the game, uh, and actually I thought I, I answered that question already. We were very, very effective that night. Yes, and strong, and maybe surprisingly strong. I don't know for one or the other person in, in Portugal, but um, Porto is a is a fantastic football team, and Portuguese football um, is a, is is really strong. So it was not. It was a five nil, and that's how it is. But we scored from each chance pretty much and, and Porto didn't so if we don't score from each chance what, what, what is normal in a football game let me say we scored three times and Porto used their two big chances they had and it's a 3-2 would, would have been for us still a fantastic result of course but it doesn't say anything about the, the level in the different leagues so I, I'm not a specialist in that <laughs> um, I watch Porto a lot meanwhile but it's not that I watched a lot of Portuguese football apart from that in the last few weeks, so you know more about that than I do. Um, but the game we played is not a sign for the general difference between England and Portugal. It was only a football game. Are you expecting the Porto playing with their B side or the, with the main players? I know that Porto has a few injuries. Telus is injured, Suarez is injured, I think, or what I heard. I'm not sure if it's true. 
Marega, right from the last game, maybe. Um, Abu Bakar is back, so no, I don't expect the B team. So I don't know what would be the B team. To be honest, again, it's you. You know more about that. I expect a strong lineup. I expect uh, uh, that they want to show a real reaction, that they want to hurt us in a football way. That what I expect. <coughs> nothing else. Can I ask you about Jordan Henderson? Um, I think towards the start of the season, I think even Jordan might have said he wasn't playing at the level that he wanted to be playing at. So with Saturday in mind has just gone, how would you describe his performances now? Obviously, for John, it's much more important what you say, what you think about him. Not that it would be important for Jordan, but he knows what I think about him. So, and um, Gareth Southgate is thinking about him. So that's actually 100% clear. Can John improve? Yes, of course. He's young enough to do that, to do so, and um, in a lot of parts of the game. But is he a very strong player? Yes, 100% as well. So that's why he is playing for us. That's why he is our skipper. Um, and last last game for sure was an outstandingly good game from him, to be honest. It was really, in a lot of parts, um, a really good performance, controlled the game, switched the side, his passing range was brilliant, did the things in the right moment, was very aggressive and very, very good in defending. Not even when, even when he was not aggressive, when he was patient, he won the challenges and stuff like that. Well, helped us a lot. So he's he's a really good player, and um, I'm, if anybody saw that, I'm happy for him because obviously he's not, he was not second in doubt, in my opinion. But if it's for other people, um, and that he, how I said, that he can improve for sure. And um, but he, had, how I said, he has the most difficult job in in, in England. He had to replace Steven Gerrard, so. That's uh, not a nice job to do, not a nice job to have. And uh, meanwhile, hopefully people don't think about that too much anymore and see him more as a single person, as a fantastic football player. And that, of course, would help him. But I always thought he did really well with it, to be honest. And I really thought he did well. And so, so now, when he's fit, he's a really, really strong football player. So in um, Sergio Conceição's position for tomorrow's match, how would you prepare your team mentally? <laughs> no. He doesn't need advice and I will not give any advice. Uh, he is experienced enough and he, they play a fantastic season. So I'm, I'm not too much, I didn't think too much about uh, this, but I, but I'm, if I would be in a situa situation, I would show a real reaction. I would want to see a real reaction, a reaction from my team, and I think exactly it looked very lively on the sideline when we were there. He will be very lively tomorrow, and will push his team, and uh, it will be a tough job for us. That's what I expect. Yeah, I think the last question we get guess from Iceland. Who has a question for Mr. Clock? Iceland. Iceland. What do you think Iceland will do at the World Cup in summer? I was in Iceland um, skiing last summer, and um, by the way, one of the best experiences of my life. But um, what I, how many people live in Iceland? Three hundred thousand. What is exactly? Yeah, I can't believe that. That's unbelievable. So for me, it's the biggest. It's that's like the the roots of football. It's like the roots of everything in life. That you don't need a lot of people. You only need the right people around to do big things. And what they did so far in football is unbelievable. Not only football, handball, and other sports, stuff like that. So you would think the whole country is, is full of sportsmen, but they have doctors as well. They have teachers. They have all that stuff. And it's all with 330, 40,000 people. That I don't know how that works. Obviously, they all do different jobs. They are teacher, a doctor, and a professional football player in the same time. So, if Germany cannot win, if England cannot win, <laughs> then from my point of view, Iceland can be world champion. That would be, by the way, the biggest sensation ever in the sports. Um, but yeah, no, I really like the attitude of of all the people in your country. It's a fantastic country. Congratulations to be an Icelandic. <laughs>